Uh, I start from skill sets. Um, I completely disregard uh, uh, mates type references. Um, like to sort of see what's available, what's what's, and also uh, what the management team's strengths and weaknesses might be as well. Uh, as company, when there's so much governance associated with boards today that it's become a much more demanding. Uh, Too much. In some cases, yes. Um, much more demanding uh, role. And so you, you, you're trying to find the right mix of people all the time. Um, the, the key, you asked me earlier about uh, how, you, how you make it work uh, between managers and boards. The critical thing is to have a good rapport between, to have an open channel between the senior leadership team and, and, the, and board members. There's an element of trust in that. I, I find as a chair that I'm, I encourage direct relationships between uh, individual board members and senior leadership team. I mean, you, you can't have well, a, you can't they don't go through the CEO, then they can come directly, can they? By and large, yes. There's a, there's a degree of respectfulness in that, but but there is an open channel always in that sense. So the old style of hierarchical boards hopefully is behind us. Um, because let's face it, we're we're all in the same uh, in, the, in the game together uh, to, to to achieve the same targets, um, and we want to have it fun. On the, the the key is we've got to we're going to make an enjoyable experience. I I refuse to get involved in boards and management teams where it is not an enjoyable experience and where you're not learning and uh, where you're not making a difference. Uh, no passengers on board.